guys, I'm Courtney Fry. I'm the Senior Social and Digital Editor at American Salon. I'm excited today because we are back at the Rojo studio in Williamsburg with the one and only Nick Rojo. How That's are me. you? I'm good. How you doing? Good. We've got a lovely model here today and we've got some really awesome education to kick off the morning with. What are sure. we doing? We are going to do Razor 101. We're going to share Perfect. with you all the tips and tricks of how to work with a straight edge blade. So if you're really interested in learning my technique, Today we're going to not show you a haircut, what we're actually going to do is we're going to give you Razor 101 technical education so you understand how I focus and how I honed my craft using the straight edge razor. Perfect, and I'll be behind the camera you guys, so if you've got any questions feel free to send them over and I'll send them over to you, so I'll let you get started. Perfect, okay, let's come on, let's have a look and see what we've got here, can you see this magical tray? Okay, so let's just have a look. So you'll see what we've got here. These are important things. This is my tools. So I have my Arojo razor comb. This is the razor comb. This is a scissor comb. These are my Arojo clips. I love these clips. They're the best clips for me. Simple, strong, nice, clean, uh, and pl fully plastic so they don't get caught on anything. Here we have our box of razors. So this is the feather razor. It's a straight edge blade. We have our wires Park diffuser, little Arojo hydro mist, water spray bottle, a little Arojo flat brush, and then of course I have my scissors and my razor. So today's a razor lesson, so let's focus in on this. And just so that you know, today what we're doing is on Arojo Pro, where you can get all of these tools, you can actually get, put in an um, American salon, you get a 15% discount, and you can buy any of these tools that we have. ArojoPro.com is our professional site. And that's where we sell all of our tools and equipment. So if you're interested, American Salon is celebration of this Facebook Live. Okay, so we have a couple of different types of razor, but the one I'm going to share with you today is the straight edge razor. This is the Arojo Feather Plie. This is the only white one on the market. It's a special one that I got. Traditionally, we have red ones and we have wooden ones. We have ones that take the guarded blade. But this actually takes the straight edge razor, takes the straight edge blade. Let me just give you a little anatomy on the razor. This we call the handle, this we call the shaft. This little piece here we call the tang. So this is the tang, this is the shaft. This little groove here is where we place our thumb. It's got a little serrated edge and that's where we place our thumb so we get good grip and the blades actually slide right in. I have a blade out here because uh, my wonderful assistant, Corinne, she actually loaded the blades, but I wanted to show you how we work with putting a blade in. So this is the Feather Plie razor. They come in a box of 20, it's, four, uh, it's uh, $14, and the razors, they're $150, but don't forget that discount code on Arojo Pro. So when you're gonna load the razor, what you're going to do is you're going to put the actual razor down because most people cut themselves when they are when they're like loading the blade, stay focused, have nothing else in your hand. You push, it has a little push that's probably hard to see and it has a little pull. So you push and you pull. You take the blade out. Now can you see those arrows? You can see those arrows right there? Those arrows are telling you that you're going to slide that in facing because it only goes in one way and this razor only takes these blades i can't tell you how many times people bring razors and try to put the wrong blades in them so we slide that in just slide the edge in it's nice and tight like a tiger very tight and then once you push it two-thirds of the way in you can just tap it all the way down this razor actually comes with a guard so you can place the guard on top, but for today's lesson, I'm going to just show you without a guard. And the guard that comes is a plastic guard, and you always put the plastic, oh, the main part of the guard, the plastic would sit in front, so you always see everything that keeps the back of the blade, where the erosio is, more exposed. It doesn't matter whether you're right-handed or left-handed. Yep, the razor goes in the same way, and you'll just use your opposite hand. Let's just talk now a little bit more about the anatomy. This is the blade itself. We refer to this part of the blade as the tip. We refer to this part of the blade as the heel. 
we refer to the, this part of the blade as the plane of the blade and depending on how you use it, it can also be referred to as the edge. You can see how sharp that is because that is so skinny. These razors for sure are the best in the business. I've been razor cutting for over 20 years and since I found my um, feather blade, it's called a feather plie, since I found the feather plie, plie is a French word to fold. So since I found my feather plie, I've never looked back and it's the best razor in the business. So now let me show you how we hold it. So the first thing that we do, and we teach classes all the time here at Erosio, and uh, we teach classes on how to learn this technique. So with this is my cutting hand, this is my cutting hand. You're gonna rotate the blade. Let me rephrase that. You're gonna rotate the handle 270 degrees. So the handle rotates 270 degrees. And then you're going to take this hand away and you're gonna have a V for victory. So let's put that V in for victory. If this gets a little loose, you can always tighten it up here with a little screw. But there's the V for victory. And then you're gonna actually place the tang right in the crease. So you put the tang right in the crease of the middle finger. And you'll notice that the blade sits to the side. When we do our razoring lesson, when you come to Orojo Academy, our advanced academy here in New York, or any of the academies, I was just teaching in Chicago at Salon Trio, uh, a razor class, which was a lot of fun. We place the tang and the shaft across the line, and then I get everybody to move their fingers. And you're gonna wiggle it just a little bit, just to loosen everything up. Now the thumb is something that you're gonna bend a lot, so you bend your thumb, and then you're gonna push. You see that groove, remember that groove I spoke to you about? You're gonna push again, so I like to say tap, tap, push. The tang goes into the palm of your hand, but as you push, you create a little scallop or a little scoop so that it fits in nice and snug on the inside of your palm. Now what happens is you'll notice the finger is wrapping around and the thumb is pushing. So if I take that blade out, I'm holding, and this is, imagine the blade is between those two, the thumb and the, and the pointer finger. So let's place that in. Now what's gonna happen, I'm gonna turn this all the way around, and I think you might need to pull back, because I want everyone to see that this is a straight line. So when you start razoring, a lot of people start like this. You've got to learn how to rotate your hand, just shift your wrist, and then you have this straight line. A lot of people always ask me whether razor cutting is, they ask me whether razor cutting is bad for the hair. It's not bad for the hair at all. It all depends how you use it, and you can use it on any hair type. So now my razor is ready to cut. I'm in position, ready to cut. But there's something missing. What's missing is the comb, because this is the hardest part of learning how to raise a cut, is teaching this hand, which has been using this pointer finger for most of your hairdressing career to hold your comb, you're gonna use this finger to literally lock down and hold the razor, and you're gonna use the middle finger and the thumb to hold the comb. So once you understand this is how you hold it, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna teach you how we hold our comb. So, let's just look at the comb first and foremost. Not all combs are created equal. This is the Erosio razor comb. This is the Erosio scissor comb. So the difference between the Erosio razor comb and the Erosio scissor comb, apart from the color, these are two of my brand colors, black and red, is both combs have fine teeth, super fine teeth, fine teeth for even tension. Now the big difference here is the, the teeth on the opposite side. This has teeth that are widely spaced and that is for very low to no tension. This is for soft tension. So when you're cutting, it's a little bit more precision based with a scissor. When you're cutting with a razor, you wanna use this comb because this comb gives you the freedom and the looseness. Now remember, one of the reasons why I got into razor cutting was because I wanted to get more freedom in my work 
And this cold is the key component in helping me understand and get that freedom in my work. We also have a nice big space here for creating really clean sections. So again, these combs are $7, and don't forget you have a 15% discount on a Rojo Pro. So remember, we've got, our, we've got our razor, this is the hold. Now let's go back, and now what we'll do is we'll take all the fingers off and we'll leave the pointer finger uh, locked down on the razor to hold it. We call this the lock, so the razor's locked in. And then what we do on, on the lesson is we get people to wiggle more of their fingers and then I get them to tap. Because what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to eliminate the pointer finger and try and create some space and some memory in my muscle for when I put this comb in. So now I'm gonna do the load. This is the lock, this is the load. The comb is now loaded. Now let's have a look and see how it's loaded. You'll notice I've got two fingers, the middle two fingers on the top, the thumb and the baby finger, my little baby finger, on the bottom. And the reason why I do that is because I need to have really good control. Plus, if you don't put that finger underneath, it's not as secure. If you put the finger underneath, super secure. So when you're combing the hair, it's really good because it's secure, precise, controlled. Now, why do we do this? Because what's gonna happen here is, the next lesson in what we like to call razor aerobics when you come to a rojo, is we're gonna rotate the comb towards you. So then what we do is we start rotating. And if you're ever gonna come to class, watch this video and practice. And this video, not only is it on American Salon's Facebook Live, it's also on Arojo NYC where we have our subscription, ArojoNYC.com. So notice how I've got lots of space between my comb as I rotate it towards me, and notice how I've got lots of space as I rotate it away. Why do we need to rotate the comb? Well, because we're going to use both sides. This side for cutting, this side for combing, and this piece here for sectioning. When you cut hair with a razor, it's what we like to call high tension cutting. So you need high tension with the fine teeth of the comb, and then this wide teeth where there's no tension or very low tension, that gives you the movement and the feel. Now watch what happens if, because this happens all the time, if this, my pointer finger, becomes my comb holder. Now the razor is loose in the hand. And now when I'm going in to cut, you see where the razor is? The razor's loose, it's too close to the head, and you'll easily cut yourself here, and you're not in full control of this uber sharp razor blade. Watch what happens when you comb the way in which I've just shown you. Look at where the razor goes, and look at where the comb goes. So when I go in to take sections, look at where that razor is. That razor's a long, long way away from the head, and it's completely locked. And you'll notice that well, we can take sections, we can rotate the comb in the hand, and then we can comb these sections nice and tight like a tiger, very taut to get super clean, tight tension. Okay, um, I'm gonna give you a quick recap Corinne's going to come in, she's going to hold some sections for me in a minute and I'm going to give you some of the fundamentals of how we cut with this straight edge blade. And just before we do that, the straight edge blade is better than a guarded blade because the lightest of touches is going to result in me connecting to the hair. And what I like to say is when I connect to the hair, it's like a bite, you feel the blade bite the hair so you get that tension and that perfect kind of feel and it definitely imparts a better feel in your work. Quick, super fast recap. Take the razor, rotate the razor 270 degrees, V for victory, place the razor in the first two fingers, the tang sits and curves over the crease of the middle finger. Push, push, push. Now the razor's straight like a knife in your hand. Then what you do is you open your hand, 
you place the comb in, and now we're ready to cut. Before I show you, let me show you the motion of the razor. When I first started cutting with a razor, uh, the, the key to cut with a razor really is just to get the blade to move up and down. When you're working with a scissor, you've got two pieces of steel, so they create the cutting motion. When you work with a razor, it's literally just moving the blade up and down. So the initial start to learn how to cut with a razor is what I like to call the stiff arm, because this is a very stiff arm, but think about how much weight is in your arm and how precise that can be. Yes, it's the perfect way to begin the motion, but it's too stiff and a little heavy. Not necessarily wrong, but slightly different. The second way, a lot of people think it's all in the wrist. Not in the wrist. The wrist, again, not necessarily wrong. You can move the razor up and down with the wrist, keeping everything steady and firm. And I've been razoring for over 25 years now, and I've really honed the skill. So really, this is the action. The action is watch the thumb. The action, so you'll see there's no movement in the wrist, there's no movement in the elbow, just the fingertips and just the thumb bending. And the razor goes down and pushes back up. Down, up, down, up, down, up. It's literally like a little pinching motion. It's like a little pinching motion. The thumb pushes it back, the, four, the, the pointer finger pushes the blade down. When we teach people how to get these muscles, it's really not muscles, it's more contracting the tendon. Sometimes it's easy for, pe to, for people to understand. Put your pointer finger on the top, and that's a, a nice way to begin. But you've always got to make sure the tang stays in the hand. Okay, so there's four ways in which we cut hair with a blade. Uh, or there's four kind of branded techniques. We have closed, open, tipping, and planing. So, closed strokes is a very short tapping motion. Very, very short, so you'll see. I call this closed because the razor doesn't move so aggressively. Then we have what we call open. Now this is the blade moving really quite large strokes, at least three inches up and down. Tipping, we're gonna use the tip of the blade the tip of the blade is gonna create more thinness, diffusion, softness, and planing is gonna be using the full plane of the blade because most of the time, you're typically using about a quarter inch between the, my two nails using about just a small piece of the blade. The razor's ultra sharp, but once you get comfortable with the razor, you can tap your finger with it, and as long as you don't strike, you're gonna be fine. So let's show you what I like to start off with, which is the basics. And this is how we do our lessons. Corinne, you want to come and hold some sections for me, sweetheart, please? And so everybody knows Corinne. We were just in Chicago teaching. We had a great show. We had fun. It was a lot of fun. We had a great time in Chicago. We taught a razor class. Last week we had American Wave in Chicago. And we just did a great Erosio expose in Chicago. And, uh, and then I went off to Texas and hello to the entire team from Elegancia. What a nice time I had in one of my Arojo Ambassador Salons. I always comb the hair with the white teeth of the comb. Then I'll take my section. Now sectioning is very important. And I always like to rest either my thumb or my pointer finger on my comb for cleanliness. So watch this. I'm going to go straight through and I leave the thumb on the hair. I'll do that again. Comb it straight through, leave the thumb. Comb it straight through, leave the thumb. This gets you really clean sectioning and clean sectioning is the key to success. So let's come through and the first thing we're going to do is what I like to call the simplest which is open razor cutting. Now the most important thing when you cut with a razor is your sections have to be consistently even. So if I take a section like this, what's gonna happen is, if we look at this, it's wider here, thinner here, uh, and even thinner there. So when I put my blade in, it's gonna be heavy for me to work through. I'm gonna apply pressure on the hair, and then it's gonna be really heavy, and then when the section gets skinnier, it's just gonna go through too, too easily. So you wanna have consistency in your section, 
because you are pushing the blade in the hair. So working with the mannequin, we're gonna to do to begin with what we call like a curved linear section. And we're gonna keep that section consistent right the way through the head. And I love to use my clips, but I'll have Corinne here today, she'll help me. And, uh, and now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take a soft line and I'm gonna come across and I'm gonna come down. So I'll show you how the blade connects with the hair. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna come using what we call an open stroke. So I get cut, the, one of the catchphrases we have, we have a couple, cut air before you cut hair, so get the motion. Or we also have, get your motor running, get it on the highway. So here we go, we're gonna get our razor moving, and as I push into the hair, I'm going to create with my open stroke a soft but clean line. And you're going to look at everything that you do in your fingers because what you do in your fingers, what you've left here, is what you've left on the head. So this is an open stroke creating a soft line. Now what we're going to do is we're going to continue that razor all the way down and I'm using literally a small piece of the blade to create softness in the hair. So as I come down the hair shaft, this hand is sliding all the way through. So I'm following with my, with my razor and I'm following the hair. Now look at this, think this through for one second. Let me show you a benefit. If I was cutting this with a scissor, and I'll take my scissor. If I was cutting this with a scissor, I have to rotate my elbow and come up. And it's quite awkward. And we have to cut up into the hair. Because when you cut with a scissor, you have to cut up one side, across and down the other. When you work with a razor, <coughs> you can cut down from both sides. You'll also notice, because I'm behind my fingers, my shoulders are dropped and I literally can just melt through this hair. Literally just melt through this hair, nice and soft, and I'm tapering the hair in towards the face. So this is a classic tapering in towards the face. And I'm creating what I like to call is like a curved section so I can retain the corner. Let's just run through this. So you'll see your line. You wanna work on consistency. You want to work on that consistency. Give me a little bit of Hydro Mist, Corinne. Hydro Mist is our little conditioning spray. We use it as a cutting lotion. It's great for refreshing, it smells spectacular, and it just gives a little bit of silkiness and softness to the hair. Now, when you're cutting hair with a razor, you're actually creating, for the most part, slightly softer lines, but I'm gonna show you how to create clean lines too. We're using on here like a piece of the plane of the blade. Let me show you section two so you can see how I follow the guide. So you'll take a nice clean section one more time. You'll come through. Now you want your section to be thin enough. That's just a little too thick. So I'm gonna go back through. I'm just gonna scoop this around. Take that away. Work nice and clean in the salon. I work on the 45 minute. So 45 minutes for a haircut, that's my gig. And, uh, and I think that's the perfect amount of time to complete, fully execute a great service. So when we come to take the next section, you're gonna comb this hair through, there's your guide. And you build your guide, your guide gets stronger over time because the more hair you pull in, the more you see your guide. So let me follow section two. Section two, using a little piece of the blade, cut hair before you cut hair. The more hair you see, you're gonna see this in a few minutes when I go into lines, the more hair that you see in your fingers, the more open your technique has been. So we're softly, gently melting down the hair. Very fluid. And you'll notice that the comb is being moved in the hand because I'm always combing 
with a wide part of the comb and you can see how we can create this curve in the hair you can see what we've got you can get this curve in the hair I'll just clean that up you don't want the hair to be bitty the razor is super sharp and it's creating a lot more softness and fluidity in your shape I'm, I'm such a professional with this now I can take very small amounts out Again, the more you get com comfortable with it, the better it becomes. And you can see how we can create such a really nice curve. And it's shaping into the face. So that's what we call open razor cutting. Now I'm going to come around here. I'm going to spin around. Nick, yeah. Nick, before we get into the next section, for those of us just joining, what yeah. razor are you using? This is the Ro Arojo Feather Plie. And it's available on arojopro.com. Arojo feather plie. Plie means to fold. This is the Arojo razor, and it comes with a guard. And if you buy this razor, put the guard on until you come for a lesson with us here at the Arojo Academy. We teach razor cutting all the time, and we love it. And remember, today, just for American Salon, we put a special code on on our arojopro.com. And that code is American Salon. Okay, Corinne, you want to come and hold the section? So we just showed you open razor cutting. Now let's show you some closed razor cutting. Let's keep that section just a little skinnier. Closed razor cutting is where you use what we call the edge of the blade. So I'm going to do some edge work right now. So before I was coming down the hair, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go across the hair. So I'm going to start at the back. And I'm rotating this blade around. I'm going to create a really clean, precise line. By keeping a super clean, precise line, it enables me to cut any type of hair. Why? Because if you can create clean lines, you're not shattering hair out. When people think of the razor, they think, oh, loads of texture. For me, I don't necessarily think texture. I think it's just a tool that gives me a different feel and a different flexibility. Cutting hair with a scissor is kind of like using a ballpoint pen. The ballpoint pen only writes one way. Cutting hair with a razor is like using a pencil. You have the edge, you have the softness, you can rotate everything. So it gives you a more sketchy feel. And when I mean sketchy, I mean like you're sketching your haircut in. It's a little bit more organic in its nature, softer, looser, freer. So when we cut the right hand side, and the nice thing is you'll notice we can cut from the inside out. The right hand side is usually easier for most people because I come straight across. You can see how clean that line is. I can come straight across. And you can see what we're creating here is a really clean, solid line. I'll follow the guide. Let me show you. This is the hard part for, this is the hard part for a lot of people when they first begin. Cutting from the center to the back of the ear on the left. Because when we cut on the, on the right, the blade moves across and this arm moves across. When we cut on the left, what happens is we start and we learn to rotate the blade around. So we're moving the rotation in the blade. So both sides are approached in the same fashion. Having said that, we, um, having said that they're approached in the same fashion, from the center out, it's a slightly different technique. So you'll notice how this blade on my hand isn't moving, but what's happening is as I'm pushing down on the hair, I'm kind of rotating the blade and getting a really nice clean, a clean edge. So we call this technique closed razor cutting. Closed razor cutting is all about creating lines. We call this technique using the edge of the blade. We call this technique creating lines. This enables us to cut any type of, uh, do any type of hair texture, because I can cut really nice, clean. I can do a clean one length bob with my razor, 
which a lot of people think, oh, razors are just meant for creating texture. Well, we're showing you right here, right now, we're showing you how we can actually create super clean lines. Once you get above the occipital bone, you can move the hand across a little bit more. So notice here, back of the blade, and I'm just pushing down into the hair. And you always look and see what you got here. I like to rotate the comb, back, forward, sit the hair under, super clean. So we've shown you open razor cutting, we've shown you closed razor cutting. Let's show you some tipping. So right here, I am now, well let me cut one line and then I'll tip. Let me follow through with the open razor cutting that we did earlier. And I'll slow it down so you can actually see, and I'm, I'm pretty good at slowing it down. Let's see if we can slow it down so you can see. So you look for your section. You got a headache yet? <laughs> okay, so you take your section nice and clean. You're gonna see on the inside where the line is. So when you comb it down, you can see where the line is. So you see it on the inside in your fingers. And then as you come through, you feel it as the hair disappears. And there's your guide right there. So now let me show you how we do this. And I'm gonna put it into slow motion. <laughs> so you see I use a piece of the blade so just one piece of the blade is melting into the hair. And as it melts into the hair, you can see that I can just follow the guide. And I'm using one piece of the blade behind my fingers and just following through. Now the reason I'm doing this is I've got now three sections in my what I'd like to I refer to as my face frame. You can see how it just dips in nicely. Now what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some tipping. So tipping is where you take out some of the thickness. So you're going to lift and elevate the hair up. I'm going to use the tip of the blade and I'm going to create a little diffusion. Now you always do it one way. You just go from uh, left to right. When you pull out, you see the softness. So we like tipping because tipping helps us to actually get a little bit more softness in the hair. When you cut hair with a scissor, what you're actually doing is you're creating some real strong super shape. When you cut hair with a razor, you're actually changing the density of the hair. So you can make this super light. So it's another application for your brain. Because the way in which we think about it is very, very different. So I'm just tipping through the hair. Tip, 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 tip. Using the tip of the blade. And the tip of the blade is just very, very fine. And it just literally touches the top surface. We comb it through. The final, the final lesson for razor cutting is planing. Planing is using the full plane of the blade. When we use the full plane of the blade, it's the most aggressive. I tend to t tell people, this is really uh, for when you wanna do more advanced hair cutting. You really wanna know to keep the integrity in the hair to begin with, and only learn how to, to take out the hair, uh, or to use the open blade with, a, with the plane of the blade later in your razor cutting journey, because it's very aggressive, and uh, it's, it's not easy and you could cause problems if you're not a master but guess what i'm a master so now what i want to do is i want to use the full plane of the blade and this is going to create what i call maximum shred or maximum taper so you'll see i'm just coming down the full shaft of the hair and you can see how much softness that we're creating and this is going to collapse the shape in so I'm using the full plane of the blade. Now it's super high tension with all this razor cutting. You gotta have super high tension because high tension is gonna help you get that beautiful bite on the razor. 
all the way down. So using the full plane of the blade, full plane of the blade, and this will be the last piece that we cut. And if anyone's got any questions, now's the perfect time. So we're going to be closing up this lesson in a few moments. You've been answering them as you go. We even have Nicole who's listening in her car. Oh, great. Hello, Nicole, in your car. <laughs> Final section. So you'll notice, watch. Section, rotate, comb, hold, place, cut. This is the rhythm. We're just going to comb. It's really like tapering the hair together think of the words razor ring has made me you know but i've built a brand on the razor i started cutting hair at vidal sassoon with a scissor so i'm a scissor precise hair cutter and then i wanted to create a little bit more softness in my work so that's when i started to adopt razor cutting into my work i'm pretty much self-taught I spent three years working at Bumble, which kind of was great because that was when I started to hone my skill behind the chair for my clients. And now the razor is a tool that I use greatly. And if you want to learn how to work with this tool correctly, definitely check out Arojo for your educational needs. You can check out ArojoNYC.com for our Arojo Academy classes, which we're teaching all the time. We will be in we'll be in Orlando for premiere in two weeks. We're gonna be teaching some razoring classes. We'll be on the booth all day. Plus we have loads of razoring classes here in New York. We have razor fundamentals, razor advanced, we have scissor then razor, we have razor craft, we have a great catalog of razor cutting. And remember, if you're interested in a buying a brand new razor. They're $150. This is the Erosio Razor Feather Plie. And uh, we have a special code for American Salon. And that code is American Salon at checkout on my professional store, erosiopro.com. Is there anything else that we can share with you? Charlotte's asking if there's any tips for curly hair. Do you use the same tension throughout or should it be slightly softer? Great, let's show you. We always use the same tension because you need super high tension. But let's just talk about curly hair. If the curly hair is fine, do you really want to thin it out like this? I don't think so. So when we're cutting curly hair, one of the techniques that we utilize is we use a little bit more edge work. So let me show you. I'll show you what the edge work is. So I'm using the edge of the blade. That gets me a cleaner line. I know it's a cleaner line because I see what's in my fingers right here. And then, one of the things that I like to do for curly hair is I like to do some channeling. And this creates some separation for the curl. Very easy to do with a razor. So that's better and you can look at how clean, not wispy, but you see how controlled the scooping out of the hair is. And what about tips for anybody left-handed? They just exactly do it the, the same. opposite? Exactly the same, yeah. I have some left-handed razor cutters, so it's exactly the same. If you're using the guard, always make sure the entire plastic, because the, the, the guard is plastic, and one side is completely filled with plastic, and the other side is exposed. Always go with the side that's completely filled. So now, I'm doing it left-handed, which I am not. Same idea. And the razor's exactly the same doesn't make a difference okay same concept same feel same everything and what's the difference between channeling and tipping well channeling is where you I'll show you let me show you tipping first I'll show you some tipping tipping is very refined let's make it thick and then I'll make it fine so let's make it thick let's clean that up I'm making it a bit thick. So you'll see you've got some softness on the end. I want to make it softer. Tip of the blade. So the tip of the blade's hitting the hair. I slide the fingers out. That's, that's tipping. Let's talk about channeling. Channeling. 
So you're coming in deep and you're creating some channels through the hair. Looks very different. This is good for creating separation. When you think about cutting hair with a razor, it's not so much joining up lines, it's creating space and collapsing hair. So it's a different type of feel, which engages a different type of your yeah, paddy brain, which is fun. And how much tension is too much? Never too much, never too much, never too much. Look at the Vandross baby. <laughs> never too much tension. Nice and tight. Good question. When you cut with a razor, don't hold your fingers side to side, top to bottom. Top to bottom, because when you hold your fingers side to side, you see there's little gaps right in here and in here because your knuckles, the bone, and everyone's hands either bone you or fatter. But when you get it top to bottom, your fingers are super tight tension, tight like a frog's bottom. Yeah, super tight. And that means you're going to hold it nice and tight. So you have these are like guitar strings, they don't buckle. Yeah. Perfect. <clears throat> so I'm going to jump back in really quick. For those of you that are just joining us, I'm Courtney Bright. I'm the Senior Social and Digital Editor at American Salon. We are live right now in Rojo's studio in Williamsburg. And you just did a fantastic morning education. The early bird gets the warm for razor cutting. That's great. We had a great time. And if you want to see me do some hair cutting, tune in at 10 a.m. 15 minutes for Brooklyn Live, which is my regular weekly educational experience. We're going to do some razor cutting and maybe even some scissor cutting, and that will be on my Facebook Live, Nick Erosia. Big shout out and thank you to American Salon yeah. for covering us, supporting us, and sharing you know, lots of great education. Of course, that's what we're here for. And if you are just joining, know that this video lives forever on our Facebook. You can go back at any time and watch the tips. Nick, before we sign off, where can we find you online? You can find me online at rojonyc.com, Arojo Social. You can also find me on my own Facebook. And don't forget, if you are just joining us, there's a special promotion code for those of you that are watching on American Salon. Use American Salon at checkout at arojopro.com, and you can get any of these amazing tools, and you can pick up the razor and the razor comb and the clips, and you'll get 15% discount just for American Salon. So thank you for that, Nick. And you know where to find American Salon on Facebook because we're all here. You can find us on Instagram at American underscore Salon. And we're online all the time at AmericanSalon.com. So thank you so much, Nick. Thanks thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Hopefully we'll